Tanya with Red Kernel Crafts. How you doing? I'm just gonna do my video and at the end I'll come back and talk to you about what's been going on in my life um, in case you're interested but I'll put that at the end. I have not done a video in three months and I haven't really been in my craft room since then. It's um, messy and I just don't find this to be an inspiring space. I've been doing a ton of drawing on my iPad. I love my iPad because I can just curl up in the couch and I can draw. I've been drawing stickers. I have quite a few designs. I'm down here today to uh, print them. So I have all, oh, damn, almost deleted it. I have all these stickers. I've got these ones here and I've got all these Disney inspired stickers. I ended up getting another desk down here and I will show you. This is my setup. I ended up getting an extra one of these desks at Ikea. The frustrating part was, you know how they have the price sticker on them? It was over here and when I went to rip it off, it took the finish with the desk. Anyway, it's fine. I got a new printer. This is the Epson ET2760. So this is the one with, it's the shack printer basically. And you just fill them up and here's my levels. And I've been printing quite a bit and the levels haven't um, changed. I have little cards to put with my orders. I have my business cards. I did this. I took this stuff from the dollar store, the like, needlepoint stuff and I made like a little thing to put my stickers in but then I didn't like that then I found these at Valley Village but they're kind of small and they don't really work so good but then I went on to container store and I have some really nice storage arriving at some point it says as of January 31st it's cleared custom so now I'm just waiting for it to show up got yeah, these two plastic paper files at um, Value Village as well and inside I had my online labels, which is sticker paper I tried, and sheet labels. I ended up, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> oh, and I stacked these. It's okay. Um, there's somewhat light things in that, so they're not gonna collapse on me, but I know some someone's gonna comment and say, you're going da, because that's gonna fall on you. I ended up going with sheet label sticker paper. And the reason I did was because I did some test prints on, on, of my stuff on the online labels. This is a little terrarium, and I actually, I got this at Valley Village. <laughs> I bought a terrarium. Anyway, um, I can't keep plants alive, so I don't know why I own that. But anyway, I did some tests, and the the uh, print would rub off. So I tried. Let's see here. I tried removable white mat. What other ones? I tried weatherproof mat for inkjet. These were um, clear gloss for inkjet, and these are some of my designs. This was a sticker sheet that I did, but it's not waterproof, and I didn't like that. Now, I know a lot of people will probably use them in journals, but I also want people to be able to put them on their water bottles. So this is one that I did, and some of you might recognize this. This is from the Orlando airport, um, and this is the old one because it had the hat, but that's the one that we saw when we first moved to Orlando. They have one now and has the Tower of Terror, but I'm going classic Disney. But this is beautiful. So what I bought was the sheet label. Where is it? Oh, here's my packing label. Um, I got the inkjet weatherproof uh, for inkjet printers. And this sticker material is like butter. It's so smooth, it's so soft. And I've like filled this up. It's been run under water. I mean, I wouldn't go throw it in a snowbank or the or the ocean and, and then expect it to survive, but um, just getting it wet, putting it on your water bottle, and it doesn't, it doesn't smudge. See, no smudgies. It took me forever to figure out all this paper. And then I ended up doing it. I bought a hundred sheets of this. So I really hope you guys like the sticker paper too. Sticker paper uh, from sheet labels. If you're coming, uh, bringing it to um, Canada, uh, that adds up. It's, um, it, I think it, I paid, I'll have to look at my things. I'll, I'll put it here on the screen of what I paid. And then shipping is like $26, I think, to get it here. From the states so that's fun and then the container store the containers i bought um they're really nice i'll show them to you i will wait to post this video till i get my drawers <laughs> um it could be months from now i have no idea it's stuck at the border uh but the the containers 
online in the states i think they're like 17.99 18.99 or something i had to pay like 25 dollars each and then shipping what was shipping shipping was like another 35 dollars or something a little pricey but i love um the drawers that i got because they have ones like this and your sticker oh i have some stickers in here oh they're so cute. Uh, but they lay down. So the ones that I got have drawers that pull out, but they're taller drawers. So all my stickers can stand upright and I can see them all without having to like label the drawers or look inside. So I like that feature. Um, I got four of them and they each hold 10. So I've got 40 slots, but I've got much more than that um, in sticker designs. But the nice thing about these drawers is that they have dividers that um, you can put in each drawer and you can put more than one sticker in there. So very cool. I'm so excited. But yeah, I'm down here right now to do a test of the designs that I made and just check for size and quality and all that. Um, and then I'm going to cut them out on my scan and cut and um, start selling. So I'm going to be listing them on my website, redcardinalcrafts.com. Not a fan of Etsy. I don't like their fees and everything. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to be doing this and changing up what I sell on my website. I'll still be selling bobbin lace patterns. I sell a bobbin lace pattern like every day, so it's it's awesome. So I can't get rid of those. Um, but just some of my other stuff, I'm going to stop. The other thing I've been working on is um, some watercolor uh, drawings. And I've been filling a sketchbook, and I've almost filled a complete sketchbook. Anyway. <laughs> I've never done that before. They're all sitting over here on my shelf and they're all like half drawn in. I'm going to go and I'm going to start printing. And while things are printing, I'm going to tidy my desk because it just always looks like that. But by the time I post this video, everything will be available and you can check it down below. So, um, all right, I'll be back. My package from Container Store finally arrived. It's a big box. I'm very excited. Like it's all wrapped tightly and nicely, so hopefully this won't um, be broken. Now, the first thing my head goes to is, ooh, this funky brown stuff would be really cool to make something with. No. And then they've got them like uh, saran wrapped together, whatever this stuff is. They're called Libin Box. There's the thingy right there. And it's a 10 drawer medium stackable craft organizer, 14.9 inches long by 6.1 uh, inches wide and 7.4 inches high. So there you go. So the drawers can come out completely. And then you get the dividers. You get 10 dividers, so you get one divider for each drawer. They're like nice, thick plastic. And they just slide. Oh. Hello. No instructions. <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult to put the, the drawer in there. Am I putting these in? Oh. It was upside down. <laughs> so one, two. So you could have like really narrow sections. Or you can do it like that and have three even sections, sort of. So my plan is for them to fit up on here. Oh, I think so. I put some of my stickers in here already. And you can get these with smaller drawers too. Oh, this is enjoyable. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look, I'll show you. This is my little cactus sticker. And he's in there. Right? I know. I know. I'm excited. I have to go to work. <laughs> I have to go to my job, but 
if you guys buy my stickers, then I can just create all day. Okay, let's just make a deal. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I gotta go to work. I'll be back later to play and organize and print and create. All right, I'll be back. The only thing I noticed, they have these little like feet things so that they can sit down in this groove. And one of them, this one up here, one of them broke off, but it's really no big deal. Like, I mean, where are they, where are they going to go? Right. And I could always move that one down here and stack the other one on top. This one seems okay. It has all four, but yeah, something was rattling in the package. This one, this is, this one's broken. This one's broken. So the back two are broken on this one. So that one can stay down here. And then this one can stack up top because it has all its feet and it just keeps it stable. So this one is missing a foot. So let me just switch. Assume all the feet are on this one. Yes. So I can do it like that. There, now it's secure and they won't now it's secure and it won't rock off but yeah that's kind of a design flaw with these is that those little things um, will snap off because you can see how they stick out a little bit and uh, yeah they'd be prone to breaking but I am thrilled with this okay Still have to go to work. <laughs> okay, bye. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm back at the end of the video just to chat and tell you what's been going on. So in January, Scott and I both caught COVID. We are vaccinated. We had had the booster in December, but we still managed to catch it. It was the Omicron variant. And um, yeah, I went to work one day and then the next, that night, I ended up with a really dry cough, coughed all through the night. I was like, what the heck? So I didn't go into work the next day um, because we're not allowed to go if we have any kind of runny nose, cough, anything. And um, yeah, so I tested negative and I didn't understand. I was like, okay, it must just be a cold. And then Scott wasn't feeling good a couple days later and he tested and he was positive. So I tested and of course I was positive. Um, so we just hung out in our room and the kids brought us food. They were still home. They hadn't gone back after Christmas break yet. Um, so yeah, we had to stay locked in her room. I played on my iPad. We watched Mayor of Kingstown, which is an amazing show. I love it. And, um, which is the same producer as, or the writer or whatever, of Yellowstone. We love Yellowstone. And, um, the night before Bryn had to go back to school, uh, we played Trivial Pursuit. So we just stayed in our room and the kids were in the family room and we just yelled questions back and forth to each other. So Bryn left. And then when she left, Kerrigan said, I'll just go in my room because it doesn't make sense for two of you to be locked up for me to be out here. So, and I think she also just wanted to be waited on. <laughs> so she stayed in her room for the next week. Uh, her classes were online. So she was like, it doesn't make sense for me to go back um, when Bryn does. So she stayed home an extra week. And we just sent her food and, and everything up to her room. Um, and then, yeah, so that's the story there. Uh, everything is good. It's snowing today. I'm so sick of snow. Um, today is actually March 3rd. Um, but yeah, work is going good. Girls are good. Um, Scott's good. Everything is, everything is good. But I thought I would just <laughs> tell you that we caught the vid, even though we were all vaccinated and everything. But it was definitely milder than it would have been if we hadn't been vaccinated. I'm gonna get that sketchbook finished and I'll do a video about that soon. And I have some like journals and things that I wanna do videos on. So, but I've kind of messed up my craft room at the moment. Like it looked bad earlier in the video. It's, it's I can't even show you now. <laughs> I, I've done some things, so it's bad. Anyway, I hope you guys are good. Hope everyone's safe, happy, and healthy. And I'll be back with some more videos soon. All right, take care, guys. See ya.